Hello and welcome back everybody to the Outer Worlds. Well, last time our trusty little food bob here um, basically got its ass hounded by some space gorillas up that hill um, in an effort to try out our new weapon that we got last week. And this is this year, Boulder Pistol, which is rather nice for our build and already uh, we managed to do some nice modifications, making it first and foremost 90% more silent. And in addition to that, uh, we managed to... Uh, give it more uh, damage, or rather more probably switch over to shock damage, which will come in handy probably when we're fighting uh, robots, which sooner or later, spoiler alert, we have to do. But uh, in the meantime, yes, we do have this here weapon, and in addition to that, we got a revolver here. Um, I was really rather excited about the revolver, actually, um, because we have a ton of ammo for it. Uh, it's light ammo. Uh, the problem is with our bolter pistol, which is rather good. Um, yeah, we're very limited when it comes to ammo. We need fusion cells for that thing. And off screen, I really try to um, clean out the uh, the general store in Edgewater. But yeah, with rather limited success, as you can see here, we were down to zero um, uh, ammunition, and we managed to get something like 40 ammunition here. Which, yeah, doesn't really cut it, so for now we can't really rely on it, and that brings us to a bad point, because, yeah, our other weapon is this here revolver, and as I said, I was rather disappointed in it. Now, um, in addition to getting our ass hunted over there, um, we managed to kill some of these guys here, um, but, yeah, we then hit a brick wall up there. So, basically, we are having to progress through, to, uh, through these ruins here, and, yeah. While it's rather hard to see them now, um, there are actually some Marauders uh, dotted about, and I mean two or three Marauders we can handle, but um, especially the guy I was just aiming at, um, this guy is rather tough and has some sort of heavy weapon, which, yeah, we weren't really able to deal with effectively. As you can see there, the moment he sees us, he burns through our health. Um, so yeah, I think we are in a bit of a bad place at the moment. And let's be honest here, guys. I really am not sure if at the moment we are able to kill these guys. So I propose we're going for a different approach here, which is to just, well, avoid these guys. Sneak around them. Um, Something I rarely do in most games, but um, then again, I'm mostly playing on lower difficulties. So overall, what we want to do is we want to get to the Botanical Lab. And uh, for now, at least, there's no good reason to really deal with these guys. Um, I would certainly love the loot of them, um, but yeah, maybe we can find a better route. So down there are also Marauders, but I think these guys here should be more manageable for us. So overall, what I can see is three different Marauders and one of these uh, Canids. And, yeah, if we take the chance now. Now, this works better, I would suppose. Was still rather close actually so yeah i start to see a little bit of a problem with our build here which is that we are definitely too squishy so um i guess we have to work on that in the future for now we are going to loot everything and in particular i am i was hoping for energy ammo um which we didn't really get so yeah we are in a bad place um actually i really would love to have a bit more ammo for this here weapon because actually we modded it out quite easily, uh, quite well. And yeah, this sh if we manage to get this thing to be our day to day weapon, um, we could possibly do rather well. Now, I do have an idea here, which is maybe before we even get to the botanical lab, we could possibly try to just do the uh, geothermal plant, which we're a actually equipped for rather well, yet again, except for the ammo, but maybe uh, we'll get a good amount of ammo from these guys here. Um, I guess the robots shooting energy ammo 
would be rather appropriate. And we'll see. I think we can approach the situation here a little bit better, making better use of our sneak. Okay. Well, good and bad news. Um, we're... Okay. I think we won't get around using this weapon here and hope that in return we get more ammo than we spent. And okay, it looks already rather well here. Yeah, this weapon here is definitely our best chance to stay alive. And yeah, these guys give good energy cells in return. I think this was the sensible decision. Maybe we just swoop around the place a little bit in order to stock up some ammo and then um, proceed to go to the botanical lab anyways. But for now at least, these vending machines we can't really use. We can use them to buy stuff, but not to sell stuff. And yeah, it's another bit of a side effect of our build. Uh, we're terrible assholes, basically. And a bit cartridge is so nice, certainly, but let's see. Maybe we can stock up a little bit on energy ammo. That's definitely the way to go. And yeah, let's see. Good news is we do have energy ammo. Bad news is we're pretty broke. So what we can do is we can buy 31 shots. Um, I suppose one thing we should just take for granted is that in this build we are probably going to spend more time broke than having money, um, which is a nice challenge, I suppose. And yeah, overall, uh, I have been asking the comments from one of you guys uh, what my overall plan for this run is actually. And yeah, as you can probably tell already, uh, I'm not most familiar with this game. I'm not really good at it. And as I said in the first video, uh, one thing that's actually quite new to me is playing this game in hard uh, mode. So, yeah, I'm already pretty challenged, as you already saw during the beginning of this year video. And therefore, yeah, I think it's challenging enough for me to go for a, first and foremost, solo route. Uh, that's just some, something I decided I want to do. I'm um, playing through the whole story without any companions. I mean, at some point we may need one uh, in order to do their companion quest, or maybe we need them for something else, but uh, as as far as it's possible, I really want to try to play this through solo. And in addition to that, yeah, uh, I want to play this Gunslinger. And the last thing I'm wanting to focus on is, yeah, I want to go for a rather bored approach. Um, something I haven't really done in the past. Uh, both times I played through this game here. Uh, one time a bit more casually, one time rather um, more of a quick speed run uh, so to speak um, yeah I both times I ended with basically Phineas uh, Wells is he called Phineas Wells I think he is so yeah the board is some route I haven't really explored good news is we definitely see some uh, gain of energy cells so far that's definitely something I want to want to see more of in the future but yeah it was a rather sensible approach to come here I guess uh, we're running dangerously low on Adreno, though, so that's something I would definitely hope for more in the future. Uh, we can break this thing here. Another revolver, which was rather disappointing, sadly. And, yeah, uh, for now, let's just level up, I suppose, since we are in a good spot for that. I mean, we're doing rather fine on damage, especially now that we are equipped with a good weapon, but, yeah... We're definitely lacking in defense. Now, there are two different options. So, for now, I decided to go for dodge. But, uh, to be honest here, I didn't really use it as much as I wanted. Uh, I'm not as good with it. Probably, it would be no bad decision to just focus on stealth for now. I think that, yeah, that would be... The sensible decision so bringing up our sneak with all of our equipment at the moment to 30 and in addition to that we can lock pick uh, and hack better which is nice so yeah i guess we're going down that route from now on and also yeah it boosts our 
damage rather naturally. So next thing here is a perk and as tempted as I would be by more uh, time dilation focus, I think we can't really decide against something that gives us a bit more of a resistance boost. So now, yeah, it's 50% more base health better than uh, five more base armor rating. I guess for now, uh, I want to go for more base health. Yeah, pretty sure that's what I want to do. Okay, so let's see what's on this here terminal and can unlock the office door, but I think that just gives us a little bit of additional way to get through this area here. So yeah, uh, oopsie. I'm rather surprised we weren't able to one-shot this guy here. What the fuck? Okay, bit of a waste of ammo. Uh, this should have been a rather simple enemy, as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, what we want to do here in the uh, geothermal plant, by the way, oopsie. Um, yeah, we want to redirect the flow of the energy to either Edgewater or the Botanical Lab. Are we already here? I thought there was more to it. Redirect power. Okay. Okay, we need a manual, manual override. So we have to go deeper down into the power plant, which, uh, yeah, was what I was expecting initially. Just forgot that, yeah, you could, in theory, access the area in the beginning already. Um, in this room here, I think, hacking and picking locks here. I'm not a big tutorial fan. I rather uh, spend my time not understanding stuff. So uh, we just let that go here. Um, not using the terminal for now, let's just see what we can loot here in the meantime, and there are some lockers, I'm pretty sure we can unlock some of the lockers, for now they seem like they're open, uh, we could unlock that locker here, okay, this one here we are lacking in um, skill, Ooh, ooh, a hunting rifle. Uh, not sure if this is a fixed spawn, but this could really save our ass a little bit. Now, as I said, I want to go down the gunslinger route, but uh, in the beginning of the game, we're actually pretty much on par with our gunslinger skill and long weapon skill. So for now, I guess the hunting rifle could actually be the better option. What we can do here, by the way, is break down some of the weapons just because, yeah, it gives us access to more. Uh, let's keep it for now, but break down the bolt of pistol. We have one of them already. Okay, hex skills plus five. That could maybe help us. Here? No. Our actual gear was better suited for this situation. So, oh, sealed. Yeah, I guess we have to take the uh, terminal here. Unlock door. Yeah, seems. Not sure where we know the password, uh, password from, but who cares? Well, the DPS is definitely lower, but 66 damage is nothing to cough at for the moment. And if we maybe get another modification that makes this thing here silent, uh, that could be a nice thing. So, okay, we have one enemy down there. I would love to see a weak spot, buddy. That does the trick. Okay, I, I really have to, uh, yeah, be cautious not to be tempted too much by uh, sniper rifles because, yeah, I, I can remember my first playthrough, I used them quite heavily and I did love them. Um, the build also worked very well, but yeah, as I said, I want to do this here more gunslinger 
and I'm, I'm more gunsling away. Um, so yeah, we, we have to tone down a little bit and not depend too much on those guys here and... Wait a second. Extend all side, extends the range, and... Quiet! Make the weapon quiet. So yeah, I guess we could technically make this thing here quiet the moment we will actually be able to find a workbench. But for now, let's use our bolt pistol again. Was this enough? Sadly not, by just a tiny amount, but yeah. Gotta be honest here, that this thing is silent is definitely nice. Thank you. Quickly forgot that there are some kind of finishes in this game. And yeah, I gotta be honest, uh, the bolt pistol it works fine. I think with this ammo supply and this damage output, we should also be able to handle the. Um, Marauders, next time we see them, it was definitely just a problem for us because we... Right control armor, that sounds rather exciting actually, and could... Ooh, Adreno, which we're running dangerously low on. Oh, a few bits, I'm certainly not going to say no. A service award, and I miss our... Ouch, melee weapon, well, nothing for us, but probably good sales value. Now, let's see the right... Wait a second. Do we actually wear right armor? We do. Uh, stealth skills plus five and armor of seven compared to armor of four and stealth. Does it look different? Look rather green when I was uh, picking it up. But anyways, um, yeah. What can we see here? So, what are you? Probably the manual override. Um, oh. Bit more loot. What's behind this door here? Um, certainly not gonna say no to some energy cells. Access repair locks. Yeah, basically uh, what we can find out by this here uh, terminal is that there was some were some modifications done to the robots that are in this facility here, and they could rather easily explain why these guys are so uh, anti-human and just kill everything on sight, uh, which is nice. We have a little spread here. I find these things rather cute, so I'm not going to kill them, and also not going to waste the ammo. Um, just looting around, by the way, we see some dead some mechanicals here. Um, oopsie. Um, I'm really shooting very often here on occasion just because, yeah, the controls are rather... Ooh, ooh, this sounds... This looks rather menacing uh, if I'm looking at the compass. Okay, our hacking skill is sadly too low and we don't have any way to progress here. But if I remember correctly, we can find someone down here. Could be a little bit of help. No, 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 just leave me alone. Where are you, buddy? Not real. You're not real. You know what? I have rather bad news for you, since, you see, this was never planned to be a kill everything run or something among those lines, but for some reason our character uh, turned out to, well, kill a lot of people. And 
I think, yeah. You're rather crazy and we could probably help you. But for now, let's talk to you. Oh, I am real. You'll soon find out. Ooh, never say no to a speech check. But I'm the only one left. No, remember your first rule, Higgins. No arguing with the phantoms. See, see, Higgins, this is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Of course, do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the yeah, yeah brief of my flashes. We all experience those. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. You know what? No, we're not going to bother with this shit. It was worth it. We got one bit cartridge here, with, which, well, will sell us probably one tenth of a bullet here. So I guess we made a plus here. So overall, I think this guy could help us in some way, but um, we're no pussies. We can handle this shit alone. Um, he says, well, dying like 20 times or so in the first three episodes, but um, we're on a good way. We're getting more powerful, certainly, and yeah. For now, I'm not even sure what we're needing to do. I think it is okay if we just make our way back to the entrance. Um, we should be able to... Oh, okay. What did I miss here? Oh. Can we do something here? Cannot use one in combat. Well, what are we in combat with? Oopsie. attack easy I'm gonna say we're very overpowered now and um, we're definitely not going to die again so yeah we can basically finish the run at this point here and engineering 15 shut off steam releases let's be real here steam didn't release anything good in ages so not sure how much of an impact we made here, but I think there were steam wolves or something, uh, jokes aside. And we can now access this here area easily, uh, which we could have done by lock picking here, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just another entrance. So we're not going to waste the uh, lock pick stuff here. <clears throat> and let's see, what do we have here? Ooh, a shock cannon. Now, we're certainly not equipped to use this thing. And I'm rather sure it uses energy cells, which we're yeah, not going to burn through. But yeah, let's see if we can modify something. Increases critical damage. No, we are, I'm not gonna lie, relying quite heavily on criticals. Uh, we're built for it, so this could certainly be a good decision. The question is, does it override something? Um, I think we have this here Whisper Muzzler at the moment. And yeah, it looks like it does override it. The question is, do we want to do this? Or do we maybe want to consider... Okay, no, we don't consider modifying our uh, revolver because we can't. Okay, um, that makes stuff easier, I guess. Extendo side. Hmm. As I said, I don't really want to rely too much on the hand rifle. What about the Spacer's Choice pistol? Not a lot to do here either, so... If you install this mod, the current one will be destroyed. So, is it really a good idea to get more critical damage, but not get the stealth benefits? I guess for now we're just going to keep this thing in our back hands and maybe we'll get another uh, bolter pistol and then we can use both of them, which sounds like a good idea. Okay, so another um, one of these thingies activated, which should probably leave us with only one more. And ooh, this is the room I was talking earlier. Okay, this guy... This guy is about to attack us. We're good? We are. Well, rather. Okay. 
Okay, this was close. Whew. Not gonna lie, this was rather intense. It turned out to work rather well, but yeah. Um, we're still running dangerously low on Adreno, which is something that never happened to me before playing this game, but yeah, yet again, never played it on hard difficulty or anything, but I mean, if we were now to heal up completely, I guess we would be down to like to Adreno, probably. So, I'm really hating this so far. Um, this run definitely is way more challenging than I expected to, uh, which probably is funny for every one of you who is probably used to playing the game on this difficulty, but yeah, um, this game, uh, this channel here is called Food Build Factory for a reason. As much as I love gaming, I'm, I've am i never been a good gamer. Um, so, I hope it makes it a bit more entertaining at least, but yeah. I think we have our last rooting switch, and yeah, pretty sure we can now make our way back and then decide where to uh, convert the power to. And here we have our rather uh, convenient skyrim door, I guess. I mean, I say I guess, I'm pretty sure it is, but... Um, just in theory, where would this lead us to? Didn't we come from here? Okay, it doesn't help. We have to use another Adreno. And yeah, this looks better. I'm still a bit worried. I guess at this point, yeah, we should have cleared the whole place out, but um, just in case. Okay, and there it is. Geothermal plan. Redirect power. Well, let's see our plan steps first. Okay. Are you sure you want to continue? I am, indeed. So now we can you redirect our power to Edgewater or to the Botanical Laboratory. Now, um, we want to go for the board route a little bit more. So on this occasion, what I want to do is something I have not done before and uh, just redirect the power to Edgewater. I'm rather curious what happens if I do that before I actually go to the botanical lab. Um, maybe I can even lie or not tell them that I was uh, in charge of that situation. So that will be rather interesting. And yeah, return to the route and exit. Nice little safe spot here, good bit of XP, but sadly not enough to pump us to the next level. I really wish we would level up a bit more often. Ooh, I have not been here yet. Um, maybe we find some loot here. Where have I been? No, I think I have not been here. I saw something around there, but it most likely was a spread. It is. Okay, so let's back out here. And I think as a last thing for this episode here, uh, what we want to do is now with a more um, better uh, ammo supply and yeah, with our bolt pistol we are rather well equipped. We also have our sniper rifle in our back pocket which will certainly be nice to uh, handle some situations on the road. I guess it's now time to just go and deal with the botanical lab, visit them and as I just said I'm really curious what's going to happen there. Um, can I not go out here? I mean, I think that there's a way to uh, just not uh, to just bring this thing down here. Um, I'm pretty sure about it, but I never really did that because there's just some other ways in. Um, oh, this could be a good starting location. Ooh, good bit of loot here. Good bit of energy cells. More, most importantly, standard trooper armor. Bit cartridges. Oh, there's a, a lot of good stuff here. Um, I think shotguns are under the long guns category, aren't they? If so, for now, let's just try them out. Maybe shotguns could be a nice little addition. I have not worked with them yet. Uh, this arm security fence. No, I mean, it was worth it for 60 XP, probably. Um, yeah, 
let's just disarm them so we can pretty much just leave the place through the front entrance. And in order to conserve a little bit of our ammo, um, I mean we're not in a place to experiment actually, but yeah, for now just let's give this shotgun here a chance. There are some canids which are in theory something we can handle rather well. Should we try it? I think we made a terrible mistake here. Not gonna lie. Okay. This is the big boy. The others are manageable. Whew. Okay. If you take your time to just sit there and growl at me, I'm gonna take it, not gonna lie. And... Well, at least he has some more loot in order. Yeah, in, in terms, oh, okay, in terms of loot, this was definitely a good decision. And uh, since I just enjoyed using the shotgun, I guess we could take a look at the other one that we just got. Is it better? Um, ooh, in terms of DPS, it definitely is better. So let's just switch our weapon here. And nope, not the space's choice pistol. Uh, let's equip this bad boy here and see how well we're doing with it. Um, not forget the loot we actually came for here. Um, okay, bit cartridges, Adreno, definitely. You are encumbered from carrying too much items. Well, okay, we will just break down something in a few seconds. Um, I haven't been a fan of the assault rifle so far, to be honest. I found it rather hard to handle, even with, uh, yeah, even with tactical time dilation. So. Um, these are hot contenders to be broken down, not gonna lie. Um, I wanna keep the revolver, because I guess that once we're getting some good modifications for it, could maybe be interesting. Well, assault rifle is definitely something we haven't taken a look at. Maybe that's better than the light machine gun. Was it light machine gun? Was it light assault rifle? I'm not quite sure. Um, these two I would love to keep for now. And in terms of armor, I'm pretty sure we're not finding something better. This is better. Both of these are better. This looks cool. They both look cool. I mean, we're losing out on our stealth skills. This here would boost our attack skills. And what does this here do? Hack plus seven. Well, let's give it a Let's give it a shot. We just don't get up in Adreno too well. Not as good as much as I like, at least. Um, yeah. One little thing I can remember is that in this here building, we will find something that's rather good for us at the moment. At least I'm pretty sure I can remember that. Um, and what I'm talking about should be lying around somewhere here, or was it in the building to in the next building? I think we're going for just one here. It's better going for five plus in tech skills than let's break. Let's just break down the rest here. Just so we're not over encumbered by the first situation we're getting into. Um, yeah, I, I'm actually what I'm looking for here is I think there's a plasma rifle somewhere here. Ooh, yeah, it's here. Cost us quite a lot of resources in order to break down this uh, lock, but yeah. By the way, I'm not going to read those texts to you. Uh, I think it's just a bit of a time-wasting uh, stuff because, yeah, most people probably aren't interested in it and those who are could basically just stop the video for a second and read for himself. I hope that's a good thing. Uh, if you want me to do that otherwise, just let me know. But, yeah, for now, that's the decision I made. 
And, well, fuck it. Let's break down the revolver. I'm sure we find something better in the future. So all of a sudden, within a single episode, um, what we found out is we have basically made progress in a lot of ways. Uh, we have more weapons I want to try out than we actually can use. So, you know what? Uh, that seems manageable. I just like what I see here. I'm not going to lie. So, okay, we use that hunting rifle for a while. Um, the plasma rifle is basically a charging weapon and maybe we should loot this place here real quick but I hope we're not getting over encumbered again but yeah there's not as much lying around here. I'm pretty sure we're not going to find something as good as the plasma rifle uh, which was one of the few things I did actually remember and yeah, indeed, we can go left up there to the botanical lab. But since no progress is made in during the uh, on the way through to here, I want to test out these new weapons. In particular, what I want to take a look at is the plasma rifle. Maybe not the shotgun for now, but yeah, the assault rifle. So let's start with the plasma rifle. which I actually like a lot. Yeah, as I said though, we're just fooling around a little bit here, but we're definitely going down the gunslinger route in the future. Okay. Yeah, this weapon here is a lot of fun, I'm not gonna lie. Um, maybe we can carry some loot over because I'm pretty sure there is a um, vendor in the botanical lab and it's just among the road, so we will just run there over encumbered, or rather not run there, but uh, walk there. Okay, a lot of loot here that we can sell. Uh, we definitely have to carry a lot of stuff with us, um, because, yeah, we're not good. Um, basically, the way it works is, uh, when it comes to trading, um, your prices are basically um, determined by your highest speech stat, and I'm not really sure, I mean, we could look it up, but I'm, I think our highest speech stat at the moment is somewhere at 10 or 15, so... Also, there's no real plan to improve this in the near future, so yeah. Uh, our prices are pretty terrible, we have to pay a whole lot for uh, our stuff that we want, and we not really get a whole lot for what we're selling. Uh, that's just something we have to live with, and yeah. Bad situation, I guess. Ooh, another bolt of pistol, which is actually something we wanted to have in order to try out the uh, other modification, which was uh, boosting our critical damage, which I think could be rather interesting. However, is it worth it giving up a silent modification? That's the big question here. Um, in a perfect world, though, if we can carry both of those weapons, that would be a nice thing to have. Okay, rather interestingly, uh, it seems like something happened that I did not expect, actually. Um, it looks like the town is already abandoned. Oh, there they are. Okay, rather interesting. Not gonna lie. So, as we approach these guys, I think for today, this is it. And join me next time when we are going to say hello to the... Um, People of the bot botanical lab that are now in a pretty bad situation, uh, thanks to us, and I hope we can lie to them that it wasn't our fault. So, see you next time, guys. Bye.